have so many more small ones like uh, they're very different yes. different range of decisions yeah. so gordon happens to be a local story mm -hmm. but there are others who died perhaps in hospital uh, down yes we he hails from the state of new york and he and he was killed on day one of the battle june 6 1918 um, what it doesn't say on the headstone though, he must have been a pretty smart guy. He was a graduate of actually Harvard University. Um, and he didn't last long in combat as many men did not, just because he was a leader of men. In order to lead men, as it were, he needed to be out front. And the actions in which it cost him his life was he was moving, helping move his men into, into position to provide supporting fire with a trench mortar. Yeah, yeah. You see the ferns moving. The remains of something, someone they have not identified. Mm -hmm. So they say, we rest on our glory, an American soldier's no, known but to God. Mm -hmm. And it started as a very intensive battle because the Americans attack without much preparation, especially with a very little artillery preparation, but a lot of gusto, I have to say, a lot of courage. Uh, they basically stood up, bayonet up, and when they were confronted, as we'll see, by intense enemy fire, instead of ducking, instead of retreating, which by the time by the time of the war would have been the normal attitude of troops and waiting for the, and then the artillery barrage to relieve them, they charge each time. Uh, this cemetery is actually uh, the story of America's involvement in World War I. Uh, we have soldiers buried here who fought in every major battle of, of the conflict. Uh, we have soldiers buried here, we have Americans buried here who uh, served behind the lines in all the support functions and the logistical functions needed for such a great endeavor. And we have uh, Americans who are buried here who did not wear the military uniform 
who came to France long before America entered the war officially, and they volunteered in every capacity imaginable uh, to fight for the cause of freedom and liberty. Uh, they just, they felt compelled to do that, and they came over here and they did that. In the one year, con in the one year that we were directly involved in World War I, we deployed over two million Americans to Europe to uh, assist in the war effort. That, that's astronomically huge, and the list, logis the logistical aspect of that was equally as impressive. 